Uh, this is size 12 long shank hook and the thread I'm using is Camo 8 -o. Just start below the eye. I'll explain all the material. Just go all the way to the bend. Um, I'm going to add a little CDC, a single feather, just for the body. So, uh, I mean, you can use a cock huckle or something, you know, saddle huckle. Elk hair cut is normally tied with that, but this is a very easy and simple version of tying this. So, and it floats better. The both floats better, you know, it's entirely up to you, but the Dubbing I'm, dubbing I'm using is a light olive just a very tiny amount it's a fine dubbing and helps floating the thigh nicely just to cover this so the CDC could sit properly now if you can get a tool and all you have to do is just kind of stroke these feathers Back and then just leave a little gap. These stems are very strong, you know, CDC, so they create a little segmentation as well in the body. It looks better underwater, so. Just keep coming up all the way. And then catch this. Couple of turn. And then kind of I'm gonna secure this properly onto the shank and let's lock it. Cut this off very close and make sure you secure everything. Right, the next material I'm using is the elk hair. So if you could just pull everything back <coughs> and put these in a little hair stucker, level the tips. about uh, body length now hold these upward don't let them go just now until you're happy it's a bit tricky and then go in the front to lock them properly and take your time with this That's it. the wing the feather should be sitting on either side of the hook dropping down from the shank I swear they're more effective you know the cut is normally has a wing dropping on the side so you can work with this slowly and then we finish uh, yeah varnish so if you could just get a little varnish on your thread. One turn on couple of turn on the top and just finish off and then you can work with your body.
it's very simple and uh, I, r I rather leave these a little scruffy so they work very well on the rivers and still water because I've been catching a lot of trout and grayling and everything with these so if you grab these equally and just cut them that's basically it it's completed now now this one sometime if I'm fishing in a choppy water so I don't bother cutting these I just leave them like that but if you want to cut them from underneath it's entirely up to you but don't go too close to the shank um, hook so just leave some So there we have a simple CDCN Elk Hair Cardis, great pattern for river and still water. I hope you enjoy this video, thanks for watching.